Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, is there anything more comforting than a warm bowl of chicken soup? I don't think so. And I think every part of the world has its own variation on chicken soup. And today I'm going to be making a low carb and keto friendly chicken noodle soup. And we're going to be using some low carb noodles that I've got. And let's see how it turns out. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, I will be using a full chicken with skin. Now, if you don't like the texture of boiled chicken skin, I suggest removing the skin and using the skin to make either chicken fat or chicken crackling. Click on the i button to watch my video on how to do that. I will also be using some store bought low carb noodles. You can honestly use any noodles you like, even zucchini noodles are fine. I start by getting my Dutch oven on the stove and adding in some olive oil. Then I add in my full chicken and I just want to lightly sear the bird now. So I let it sear and then you just want to flip it around so you can kind of nicely sear all sides of the bird. Now my bird was sticking to the pan so I was a bit clumsy with it but the idea is to just get a little bit of those roasty chicken flavors in the soup and you get that by browning the chicken a bit. Then I add in two bay leaves, a handful of peppercorns, one onion chopped into two halves without the skin, a couple of cloves of garlic and some fresh dill. Now I chose dill as my herb for this recipe but you can use parsley or even coriander, any herb that you fancy. Now I season it generously with salt and then I add water. Depending on how much soup you want, you add that much water. I'm not going to fill up my pot completely just till about the breast level of the chicken. Anyway, cover it and cook it on a low heat for about 45 to 60 minutes depending on how big your chicken is. After about 50 minutes, my chicken is done and I'm gonna grab a pair of tongs and remove the bird from the pot. I will also fish out the onions, the parsley and the bay leaves. You can leave the peppercorns and garlic in there if you like. You can eat the peppercorns for a nice peppery kick and well the garlic you can actually squash it and add it back to the soup if you like for a more garlicky flavor. Now since I use chicken with skin there is a good amount of fat on the top of my soup so I'm going to take a ladle and skim off some of that fat. Also any scum that might have collected. If you use a skinless bird you won't have so much fat on the top. Now it's not really a problem you can leave some of that fat in because it's actually quite delicious. Anyway, once that's done, it's time to attack my chicken. Since my chicken has cooled down now, I'm going to use my hands and shred apart the bird. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's still so juicy. Anyway, I turn into the human shredder and shred that bird to pieces with my bare hands. Now you can shred this chicken however you like. Some people like to use two forks and shred it into small thin strands but I like a nice biggish piece of chicken. I mean I want a mouthful of chicken in my chicken soup not like strands of chicken. Anyway once I'm done I'm left with a nice bowl of shredded chicken. Now back to the soup. I turn on the heat and I throw in some frozen vegetables. Now I've just got a bag that has some peas, carrots, green beans and cauliflower so I'm using that. I don't really care about the carbs from these vegetables, it's not really a big deal for me. But if you are very particular, you can use mushrooms, celery, green beans, cauliflower and maybe skip the carrots and peas. Anyway, as that soup is warming up, I add in my chicken and give it all a good mix. Then in go my low carb noodles and I give it another good mix. Now at this point you really want to taste your soup for seasoning and add any salt if required. In my case it was fine so I just added some freshly cracked black pepper. Then I give it all another good mix and I taste it to make sure it's perfect. Now I just wait for the soup to lightly start bubbling again and then I add in some freshly chopped dill just to finish it off and give it a vibrant and fresh feel. Then of course you gotta give it that final good mix and our soup is ready. I mean isn't that just the easiest and most comforting looking meal you could ask for? Just take a moment to observe that soup. Anyway now serve yourself a bowl of that delicious soup and you will be one happy camper. You can eat the soup all day every day. And now for a little noodle action. Hoo yeah! How good does that look? This soup is my new best friend. 
Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Hey folks, it's time to taste our chicken noodle soup and I can't wait to dig in, even though it's a really hot day in the kitchen. But let me get some of that soup first. Mmm, oh that is just beautiful. Mmm, it's got that lovely chicken flavor in it. There's a hint of dill, onion. And I love that, you know, when you leave a little bit of that chicken fat on top, your lips get a bit oily. I actually really like that. And let me get a piece of chicken. Mmm. That fresh dill really takes the soup up a notch. And let's try some of these noodles now. Mm. They're actually not quite bad. They've got a little bounce to it. Like it's it's almost like a vermicelli. It's, it's quite interesting. And definitely like if you are missing noodles or you don't want to eat wheat noodles or something, this is a good alternative. Mm. Oh yeah. You know, you could also just use zucchini noodles. But yeah, this is a beautiful, warm, comforting bowl of chicken noodle soup. Not much else to say about it. I hope you guys are going to make this. Let me know how it turns out. And I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking.